Hello. Assalamu alaikum everyone. How are you today? My name is Chris Tomo. I'm from Chemistry Department, Faculty of Science and Technology, Universitas Islam Negeri Balai Sangat Semarang. On this special occasion, the fourth International Conference on Chemistry, Chemical Process and Engineering, I would like to present my research paper and detail absorption of methylene blue and the magnetic nanoparticle and magnetic nanoparticle coated with humic acids. This was the comparison study between two nanomaterials, it is magnetic and magnetic coated with humic acid, um, to absorb dye waste in the wastewater treatment. For introductions, as we know that currently industrial technology has progressed in leaves and forms over the past few decades. For example, in textile, paper, foods, pharmacy, cosmetic, metals, and so on. The progress or uh, the development of this industry growing very fast make an increasing of waste in volume and times. And textile industry is one of the biggest industries in Indonesia, uh, mostly used uh, dye waste, uh, used azodyze as the main raw material, such as methylene blue. Uh, we know that azo dyes is made from uh, benzene, consists of benzene group that cannot be degraded to the environments in the period of time. So it needs to degrade it in the maybe thousand years uh, later. Yeah. So uh, if the presence of azo compounds in the water in the long time, in, in the period of long time, uh, it makes some disease because it's carcinogenic and mutagenic uh, because uh, it makes a negative impact to the environment yeah? because this is organic polytan and biodegradable according to WHC 2015 uh, increased POD, yeah? biological oxygen demand and toxic for flora and fauna in the water because carcinogenic and mutagenic and for the health it makes uh, irritation to skin eye and cancer because this is also carcinogenic um, there are some treatment methods to solve these problems for example coagulation precipitation filtration adsorption photodegradation and ozonization uh, i use adsorption because it's a simple method and then cannot uh, use the much money yeah uh, then uh, materials used to absorb these uh, azo compounds, for example, activated carbon, magnetic nanoparticle, maghemid nanoparticle, MCN41, humic acid, bentonite, ketosan pectin, PEVA, and butter mass. I um, used humic acid to cut coating in magnetic nanoparticle because I want to make a comparison study between magnetic itself and magnetic coated with humic acid, which one the more effective and the more efficient to absorb these azodyes in wastewater treatment. Um, the purpose of my research is to synthesize of magnetic nanoparticle and magnetic nanoparticle coated with humic acid by using co-precipitation method as an absorbent of methylene blue in wastewater treatment. And then for the specific purpose is Determining the effect of degree acidity, yeah, pH, contact time, and concentration at the process of absorption, methylene blue, onto magnetic and magnetic and particle. Studying pH point of zero charge, this is the stability of magnet ties, uh, stability of uh, in the weather medium. And then uh, the, third, the third specific purpose is to study uh, for studying kinetics and isotherm absorption of methylene blue onto magnetic and magnetic nanoparticle coated with humic acid. Uh, the research steps in my uh, work, uh, first is extraction, purification, and characterization of humic acid. I take the humic acid from the natural pit soil from Rawapani, uh, Central Java, Indonesia, because so many pit soil that can uh, extraction to, uh, to make uh, humic acid. And the second is synthesis of magnetic and magnetic nanoparticle coated with humic acid and characterization of those materials using FTIR, XRD, SAM, EDX, and mapping. And the third is the third one is to uh, measuring the stability and 
uh, PS 0.0 charge, magnetic and magnetic nanoparticle coated in the acid. And then uh, the last step is the absorption test of methylene blue onto magnetic and magnetic coated in the acid. Uh, this was the procedure to extract humic acid from pit soil that I take from the natural pit soil in uh, Rawapading Lake, uh, Central Java and then uh, used for the acidity yeah, for the sodium hydroxides the, the comparisons for uh, sodium hydroxides and pure soil is 10 uh, to 1 yeah? and then for these uh, procedures we, we, we get the impure humic acid for the purification of humic acid I used the, the mixture of hydrochloric acid and hydrochloric acids uh, the, the the comparison is one to one and then stir it for 24 hours in the temperature room and then centrifuge at 500 rpm for 15 minutes then we, we have to uh, 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 separate it between filtrat and uh, supernatan yeah? and then uh, precipitated and then humic acid we have to dry it in the, the oven uh, the, the temperature is 60 degrees Celsius so we, we get the pure humic acid maybe about the random the rendements or processes only 10% from the raw material of pit soil then um, the, the second step is we, we have to synthesize uh, magnetic and magnetic nanoparticle coated with humic acid with the co-precipitation method. This is a mixture of Fa2 plus and Fa3 plus. The comparison the comparison uh, one uh, two one and two and then uh, we float with the nitrogen gas and then dry it often and then after that we we, we get the the dried um, nanomaterial of magnetic and nan nan magnetic nanoparticle coated with humic acid and then characterized with FTR, XRD, SAM, ADS, yeah, and then mapping and then measuring the stability of pH or degree of acidity point of zero charge and then we have to absorption to the uh, methylene blue. This was the characterization of uh, ER spectra for humic acid, magnetic, and magnetic nanoparticle coated with humic acid. Uh, we, we, we know that in this uh, wave number uh, 3410 uh, centimeter per centimeter, um, this is the, the strength of uh, alcoholic yeah, from the water strength vibrations. That cannot be seen in the magnetics, and then we, we, we also know in this uh, carboxylic here, yeah, in this uh, thousands with number, with number thousand, this is a carboxyl vibration that we, we cannot see in this uh, magnetics, pure magnetic here. Yeah. And then uh, the free version of FAO uh, solves in the five. Hundred and six, five hundred around five hundred uh, wave number, yeah. Um, from the characterization of XRD, the factor gram, you make acid. Uh, we know that you make acid is amorph, so cannot show the intensity of the theta, uh, and then uh, for the specific uh, two theta for magnetic is. On the 35, yeah, the two, uh, two theta, yeah, uh, the specific. Uh, this is um, relish, related with the peak of two theta of magnetic uh, in the International Refraction Data Standard number 00019 that it has Miller index HKL uh, 220311 for 400. 511 and 440. 
this is uh, uh, it, it it shows that the magnetics have been downed the synthesis and then uh, coated with the uric acid oil as well for the characterization with the same yeah, scanning electron microscope and EDS energy dispersive x-ray you make acid magnetic and magnetic coated with the acid uh, we know that the the morphological surface of humic acids is spy and then uh, a good the good one and then for the uh, magnetic and magnetic nanoparticle is ferric and then the composition of the of the element we we know that the the composition of um, uh, we, we we can see on this slide for the uh, magnetic we we can see the, the the element of iron fa uh, in the magnetic is higher or bigger than magnetic coated with humic acid because uh, in the magnetic you make magnetic coated with humic acid is uh, the, there are a uh, strain with the uh, carboxylic and alcoholic uh, bonding in from humic acid so the intensity is decreased so but in the the magnetics uh, the, 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 the the concern of the, the of the present of present weight of iron is higher around of uh, 15 percent of present weight uh, and then we can see also the the element of carbon and the element of oxygens in the magnetic coated with humic acid is also decreased because there are a bonding uh, between uh, begin between iron and uh, oxygen and carbon yeah but in humic acid we know that there is no iron and then it's only uh, carbon and hydrogen and oxygen yeah that's our most in the in the in the humic acid uh, it is also confirmed in the mapping analysis that's our uh, magnetic in uh, iron in this uh, magnetic nanoparticle contact with humic acids separates uh, in the overlay fa 304 it's a yeah uh, we know that the, the, the green one is uh, iron and then the the red one is carbon it is show that the synthesis of magnetics have been uh, down or uh, succeed coated with humic acid um, for the determination of ps point of zero charge is uh, 6.47 uh, for the magnetic uh, nanoparticle coated with humic acids and then from here, so we, we also can see that uh, absorbent kinetic of magnetic uh, nanoparticle and magnetic nanoparticle coated with humic acid with humic acid through the methylene blue is following the pseudo second order with the the correlation number is uh, almost perfect yeah zero point uh, 9997 for magnetic and 0 0.9999 for magnetic nanoparticle coated with humic acid. And the effect of contact time here is used to uh, determine the absorption kinetic. Then, uh, to the isotherm absorption of magnetic and magnetic nanoparticle coated with humic acid as to absorb uh, methylene blue. Uh, following the long mirror isotherm absorption with the absorption capacity are 25.65 mg per gram for uh, magnetic and 28.81 mg per gram for magnetic coated with humic acid. And then uh, for the conclusion uh, of my research paper, based on the results and discussion aforementioned, it can be concluded that Methylene blue can be absorbed optimally by magnetic and magnetic nanoparticle coated with humic acid in PS10 and Z1 respectively above PS point of zero charge with the absorption capacity 
25.56 mg per gram for the magnetic and 28.81 mg per gram for magnetic coated with unit acid. Uh, the second one, a certain of methylene blue on the magnetic and metallic particle coated with UMA acid following the pseudo second order kinetic and the longer is a term models. Uh, the third one, the equilibrium constant of an absorbent methylene blue on the magnetic is uh, 77,343 uh, liter per mole and for magnetic nanoparticle coated with UMA acid is 107,300 liter per mole. Then it has a certain energy for magnetic and magnetic coated with UMA acid. Uh, 20, yeah, around 27 to 28 uh, kilojoule per mole, yeah, respectively. So, which shows that the process of absorption interaction take in physics, yeah, physics option. Alright, that's all my presentation today. If you have any questions to discuss with my research paper, uh, very welcome. Thank you very much and Assalamualaikum everyone. Bye-bye.